guys, welcome back to the show. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Paul and I'm the owner of Mr. Post Frame. Today we are going to finish up these headers and build out this A-frame which is behind me. So let's get to it. Day 19 here at uh, Westbury Acres, and uh, we're working on this porch, which I love building porches. They just add so much character to these buildings, I think. Um, but this is six by six treated posts, double two by six header, and then we're gonna build an A-frame at the front entrance. Um, nothing crazy, it's gonna be made out of treated uh, six by sixes, and then it's all getting stained. So yeah, I think it'll look pretty cool. Um, but anyway, I'll quickly uh, tell you how I make my A-frame. And so we have these two posts here. These two posts are centered on the front door. And then you can see up here, um, we have a six by six going across. And what I'll do is I'll measure that six by six, and then I'll divide that by two, and then I, I like to make my A-frame so that I can do 45s. So whatever that uh, half of that width is, that's gonna be my height. Then I can guarantee all I have to do is make 45s on my uh, A-frame and it makes life a lot, a lot easier. So keep that in mind when you're making one. If you keep it simple, it makes life really easy. So we've got these cut already. And I believe, um, I don't know where my measurements are here. I had them on a point. Oh, right here. So if you guys can see this, this is 111 and an eighth was the overall width. Half of that is four, seven, and nine sixteenths. So if I know that's um, the width of half, that's gonna be also be my height which will guarantee these two angles right here will be 45s. So I just do use the Pythagorean theorem at that point to get my length, and then I just mark that and cut 45s. I wanna get that on that other side. Well, I mean, I'm just slowly start letting them down. That should be pretty close. Are you sitting flat, Jake? Uh, yeah, pretty close. Yep. Make it, it, make it flush with the front if it's a little narrower. You alright, Cash? Yep. Yeah. Make it up here with Cash. I got mine where I need it, so I'll run a screw in here. But we gotta pull this up, Jake. Okay. Let me just get a couple of screws started. Right, I'm gonna lift mine up just a little. Right, right there. Let's get this screwed together and then we'll adjust that. Okay. So 
actually pretty good. So. All right, now Jake, now push yours in a little. Do I need to start a screw? Yeah, just start a screw. I put um, one there and there. I'm just gonna put some temporary bracing up here so this doesn't get knocked over by accident. So the nice thing about making these all 45s is I know my cuts here are going to be 45. So I just have to measure from the top bottom here to this point and then make two 45s off that point. It makes life real easy. So we are right at 48 inches. You got a hold of it. I'll just loosen this a little. Hit that one out. If you want to use a, a board. I got a board right there. Check that with your square. Should be pretty close. I mean, that lumber's not perfect. Yeah, it's pretty dang close. You yep. good? Yep. <clears throat> so we got 63 and a half. So that's 31 and a half, 31 and three quarters in the middle, right? So it should be right. If you're doing 45s, two of the sides would be the same. Actually turned out uh, better than I thought with uh, green treated. You just set it on the lift for now. Where do you go? You're ready to go. Right here. So, I'm not down. Well, just push that out so get it down because um, this You can move that a little bit. There you go. All right, so it should roughly be somewhere here. No. 
Jake, if you want to get the level, put it across. I, but I want to span. This has got a hump in the middle, so put it here and at the other end. And go up, right there. All right, now back up. And start, sorry. Make a pencil mark under here. All right, now you hold this. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Alright, so that's plumb. Now stick your square in there and see how that looks. Yeah, I, I'm perfect. Alright, and then I'll temporarily tack this one, but once we get that one up, we'll match that distance to here and then square this because this is what we're going to build all all of this off of. Right. I don't know, probably go every two feet with two by sixes down. There'll be a little bird's mouth here yeah. and they'll match with that. I mean, this isn't going to hold much weight. This is more yeah. for aesthetics. Yeah. So we'll cut bird's mouths on them. Yeah. And we'll have them two foot on center. Then purlins will go across so we can acquire our overhang. So we'll do all that, get all the purlins on this, everything. Then you guys can shoot this. We'll sheet it, and then we'll go work on all of our the rest of the porch. Because right. then that porch will die into this. Okay. Does that make sense? So this will be like this, and then this roof's going to come off. Oh, this will come down from the wall yep, up there. Yep, and it okay. come down like that. So we'll just temporarily tack that into the wall just so it doesn't fall on somebody. Down? Oh. Not quite that. level right there. Am I down on you, Jake? Uh, right there. Did I mess it up? Nope, you're good right there. Paul could go down just a little bit. Alright. Well, let's get, uh, put a screw in that one, Jake. Get it where you, it's lined up on the inside. Okay. And so let's leave it. Make sure you're pulling in on the outside so it. That's good. Alright. How much do we gotta go down on cash? that up dude like a quarter like a quarter all right somebody's got to help okay yeah, the level. level okay right, i gotta take the, other, take the other one out all right go ahead you read it down i'm trying to sit there down right there still all right yep Shouldn't go anywhere. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that right there. Oh, yeah. You suck it in? Yep. Alright, I'll get a couple more of those. That should be. Oh, good. Alright. I'll run two into that one and another one into this one. I'm just saying. 
selection, the choice quality cuts at the right price. Yeah. Well, I'll probably just jump back under that beam. So we'll met, screw all those in across there, every, where there's a board. So it's gonna butt up against that, Jake. Okay. But it's, you want it to be flush, like not all the way, you know what I mean? Flush on the right and left side of it. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. And then you guys, we don't have to do this now, but you'll run two screws in on each side. And then this will be fine because it's not gonna interfere with anything. You don't even need to screw there, just two into those. So let's get the other hanger and we'll go over there and put it up there on the JK. All right guys, that's gonna be a wrap on this video. And the next video is kind of cool. Um, a guy that I've known for a few years, he came and helped me, he's a subscriber. We went, I took my crew and we went and helped him pour all his footing. So that's gonna be the next video. And then after that, we will talk about the rafters and framing up the uh, that part of the porch. We appreciate you guys watching. If you don't know, we have design services. You can email us design at mrpostframe.com. You can join our Patreon. That's for self-builders. That's what our channel is all about, is to help you guys build your dream. We talk about different topics every month um, in depth. You guys get to ask questions. Um, I do my best to answer them. But as always, we appreciate you guys watching, and we will catch you on the next video.